Welcome to Temperature Measurement with Resistance Temperature Detectors or RTDs. When RTDs are heated, their, their resistance increases almost linearly with temperature because they are made from pure material, typically platinum, nickel or copper. Typical RTD is PT100, that means platinum RTD with 100 ohm resistance at 0 degrees Celsius. RTDs are stable, accurate and linear, but are also expensive, require current source, self-heating and have low absolute resistance. Now how RTDs work? R DSI RTD allows measurement of resistance and temperature, has internal 1.25 mA constant current source and supports all common RTD types from PT100 to PT2000. You can also measure resistance and temperature with Sirius STG modules. Sirius STG has internal constant current source that is set to 1 mA for measuring low resistance RTDs and 0.1 mA for measuring high resistance RTDs. We also have dedicated instrument for measuring RTDs, Krypton 8x RTD. It has great accuracy, low noise and also supports free wire connections to RTDs. Now let us go to live demo. I have connected Sirius STG and Krypton RTD to my computer. They are both automatically detected in Devasoft. On Sirius STG, on first channel I connected DSI RTD. In channel setup you must set measurement to temperature and input type to PT100. On second channel, I have directly connected uh, RTD to D sub 9 connector. So, in measurement type, you must select again temperature and input type to PT100. On Krypton RTD, you again go to setup, set measurement to temperature, range set to PT100, and connection type to 4 wire. And when you're done, you just go to measure and we're measuring temperature with Devasoft. 